Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com with another Adobe Tricks lesson. Today we're talking about After Effects and using the arrow keys on our keyboard to really improve your workflow. So let's get straight into After Effects. So here I have a composition that I just created with three separate layers, two background layers and a circle or a ball layer. So Using your arrow keys, you can use left, down, up, right to move the, the layer itself in the composition. Now it's hard to see exactly how much it's moving. I guess if I had a, uh, it's moving at one pixel. And since this composition is a 1920 by 1080 pixel composition, it doesn't look like it's moving too much. But let me zoom in and see if you can see so it's still pretty hard to see the the ball actually moving to the left or the right, but it is as I use those arrow keys. Now to move it even further, you can press shift and left or right or up or down and it moves it even further. Okay? So another thing that you want to that the arrow keys is great for is moving through the timeline. With, rather than clicking and moving your timeline marker up and down, you know, sometimes it's good to see the motion of a, a graphic or an animation by scrubbing through the timeline one frame at a time. And you can do that by pressing Command right or Command left. That will move your timer or your marker up or back in the timeline. So let me just add a little bit of motion to this ball really quickly, just setting uh, two keyframes for position. Okay, so we have this ball dropping so maybe we want to see how it moves through this time so I'm doing that by holding command and pressing left or right now if I do a command up or down what that does is it deselects the layer that I'm selecting and moves down to the next layer or up as you can see here I'm just going through my different layers down here and this is great because to be a really efficient motion graphics artist or user of After Effects or whatever program you're really using, using your keyboard is a lot more efficient than using your mouse. It's quicker, knowing the hotkeys will really improve your workflow. So this is a cool way to, you know, you know, go through your your layers if you want. Okay, so now let's add command and shift. So all these things, if you press command and then add shift to them, it does something different. So similarly to scrubbing through your timeline one frame at a time, if you press command shift right, it goes ahead 10 frames. And again, if you go back, it goes back 10 frames. Pretty straightforward. Now command shift and up or down, similar to just command shift where you're just changing the selection of whatever layer you're on, holding command shift and pressing up or down selects multiple layers, okay? So there I started out on the top layer and I press command shift down, down, and now I have all these layers selected. So if I want to do that, then I let go and just press shift right. That's actually moving all of these layers in the composition to the right, okay? And now, um, but once I have them all selected, like I did, I can't go backwards and press Command Shift up up to deselect these layers. That's the only problem with the, that hotkey. But again, if I start in the middle, I can press Command Shift, go down, and and then up. So it's really versatile in selecting layers around the layers that you are affecting or moving or changing or whatever. So those are some really quick tips uh, using the arrows. Remember, right, left, up, down, that will just move whatever layer you're using in the composition itself. Pressing shift plus left, down, up, right um, will move it even further. Pressing command, right, left will scrub through the timeline by one frame or back one frame. Adding shift to that will do it by 10 frames. Command up or down will change the selection of whatever layer you're using or you have selected in your timeline and then command shift plus up or down will select multiple layers. 
Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next trick. Bye. And one more thing, I wanted to remind you that right now all of my Adobe related courses are on sale for only $29 a piece. So check out the link below in the top of the description or click the annotation below me and get $29 to learn Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Lightroom, Illustrator, or After Effects. Thanks a lot and we'll see you inside one of the courses.